Hello, my name is James from men who are abused.com. I'm here today to talk about narcissistic personality disorder and how it's one of the main causes of emotional abuse. I want to start by saying I'm not a doctor. However, I've received my knowledge through years of painful experience dealing with partners that have been very emotionally and at times physically abusive to myself. Though I represent men who are abused.com I feel that emotional abuse is universal for men and women. I think both men and women can benefit from this video. However, the problem is there's a big bias regarding men and women and any type of abuse. I also believe this is the case when discussing narcissistic personality disorder. Most state that more men have this disorder than women. I beg to differ. I believe it's even as there are more and more men coming forward confessing stories of women they are or were involved with that share the very traits of someone that has narcissistic personality disorder. What are traits of someone that has this disorder? Well in the beginning of a relationship it's hard to tell as they tend to have a chameleon type of quality. They listen and learn what you like and try to pretend they like those same things. This is a way to get into a relationship or friendship with you. Usually the bad traits start to surface when you aren't going along with their game plan on how the relationship in the mind of the narcissist is supposed to go. It's called a script. The narcissist generally has a script on how they want a relationship to go. They are always looking for the perfect relationship. A perfect relationship that doesn't exist. They more often than not are carrying on several intimate relationships at once in secret. I say in secret because they are very good at hiding their true self from those they want to keep up the perfect image with. They have many intimate relationships, not just to feed their ego, but to see which one of the handful of people they are seeing will go along with every word of their scripted relationship. One minor deviation from the script on your part can slate you for punishment from the narcissist. This can be a noticeable red flag. However, many of us in the beginning just chalk it up to a misunderstanding. This is the biggest mistake us as victims can make. When the disagreement happens watch how your partner behaves. Do they want to hear your viewpoints or do they get madder with each word you say? Does it seem like you are talking to a brick wall you can't get through to? Do they threaten to end the relationship with you because you aren't seeing things their way? Do they call you a liar and accuse you of not caring enough for them? Once the situation is dropped, do you try to talk to them about it the next week to get a resolution? Only to be treated the same poor way with the same terrible ending? If this is the case it's a good chance you are involved with a possible narcissist. The narcissist in the middle of a discussion such as this will rarely, if at all admit any wrongdoing. More often than not they will threaten to leave you, accuse you of various things, and call you names. What happens next is the narcissist will usually come back and profess how sorry they are. This is in no way them admitting guilt they won't speak in specifics about the incident they might say they are sorry for how they acted and getting so mad and they don't know why they get mad like that. However during the apology, if you dare question the original problem it's more than likely they will get angry again. Many of us don't do this as we are so focused on the apology of the narcissist. We think we've reached them and they are truly sorry. This is another mistake us as victims can make. The reason being is that most of us act rationally when someone disagrees with us. We listen objectively to what they have to say. Especially if they care for us. If we are mad but yet cool down and talk it out the next week we usually as normal people can come to a resolution. With a narcissist this isn't possible. In the beginning of a relationship with a narcissist they don't do this behavior all the time. It might surface once every few months. Once they figure out their perfect relationship with you has been blown to bits. And believe that it's all your fault. They will begin to exploit the side of you that you have been showing them. The victim. The only purpose you have to the narcissist now is to be their human dumping ground for their problems. They see that you have a high tolerance for the terrible treatment. They use this fact and keep you in the relationship as long as they can. Narcissists don't want to behave like this with everybody. If they did they would lose friends and jobs. However, if they have a victim they can do this too. They can keep up their perfect self-image in public. And in private use you to fulfill their narcissistic supply. 
This is where you will see you are slated for punishment. What kind of punishment does the narcissist dish out towards the beginning? Well, let's say you are a really good tennis player. Let's say when you first met your partner they were praising your tennis skills and seeming interested in every part of your life. Well, now she wants nothing to do with tennis. Complains you play it. Puts you down because of it. She may say that she's seen better tennis players than you. Or turn a cold shoulder to you when you speak about tennis. She might turn on the TV or start reading junk mail to ignore you when you are trying to have a meaningful conversation with her. This is one of the first and most noticeable punishments that narcissists dish out. Unfortunately many of us don't realize the severity of the problem. We think it's just a misunderstanding and that we can just talk to her about it. Not realizing the more we talk to her about it the more we feed her narcissistic supply and show ourselves as victims. The key is to when we see that we aren't getting through to them on the most basic issue. And they seem to have a shallow way about themselves in regard to the relationship. We should then exit. And leave. Most narcissists will follow a partner around even when the victim has left. However this usually happens when a partner leaves later in the relationship. If a partner leaves early on. They usually will just move on to a new victim. And forget about you. Again. Most don't see the writing on the wall and stay. The narcissist can be convincing. And punishment can be painful. Painful enough for us to want to blame ourselves and stay. These are good red flags for anyone just starting a relationship with someone that might be a narcissist. I will be posting a part 2 to this video. Thanks for your time. Please also go to menwhoareabused.com to share your stories, tips, help, and support. The more this problem is known the more it can be avoided. Thank you again. Goodbye for now.